Bayou the Battery is a significant seafood location for the state of Alabama, the seafood capital of Alabama. And because of that, we need lots of marsh habitat and areas for all that seafood to grow up. This is really the gateway to the bayou. This is home to an economic industry for shipbuilding, seafood processing, and multiple generations of fishermen and shrimpers. This site has been in the forefront of multiple coastal storms, multiple hurricanes, and also a man-made disaster of the BP oil spill. Bayou the Battery has lost some 600 feet of shoreline in the last 100 years. So it's really important that we hold the line for these sites. This is the only um, boat ramp here in South Mobile County for the people of the bayou. We noticed there had been a lot of erosion and we needed to figure a way to shore up the port as they enter as well as providing extra habitat for the fish, crabs, and fin fish that live here. The Nature Conservancy's goal for this project was to make it right for the community. We wanted it to protect them from storm surge. We wanted to have an example area where folks could see nature-based solutions at work protecting communities. Partnerships were one of the most important part of this project. Whether it was the engineer's relationship with the Nature Conservancy, whether it was the scientists that were bringing the habitat back here with the birds and the terrapins, whether it was the contractors that took the time to care about the project and about the community, Without all of those partnerships, this project would have never been successful. Mighty Point consists of about one and a half miles of breakwater that includes two jetties that have never existed before in Bayou La Battery, and very important to protecting that working waterfront. Also includes seven breakwaters, plus four more to be built in the future. And we also built 40 acres in marsh and then we have up to two miles of tidal creek that intertwine and really connect the new wetland areas with the old wetland areas of Lightning Point. The project was completed in August of 2020, and if everyone remembers the hurricane season of 2020, um, as the equipment left the site, we had four named storms roll through this site that created high water events. After each event, the site stood the breakwaters performed as they should, and our habitat was still here. We did not lose that habitat. And when this project started, we had already lost 30 feet. And to know that this project could still stand after four named storms after just being built, it was really um, the benefit we were looking for. We see people kayaking through the tidal creeks, boaters coming out the inlet, the birds and the wildlife using the site as intended. And when we get out there and we really look deep into the marsh grass, we can see the crabs and the shrimp and the fish that we actually built these homes for. So the combination of the people and the nature using this site, that's, that's all the benefit we wanted. Congratulations to the Nature Conservancy in Alabama the first place winner of the 2022 Gulf Guardian Award in the Partnerships category.